In the previous video, we briefly touched on growing and repeating patterns, the most common patterns learners will come across during foundation phase. This video will go into more depth on each of those patterns. The most simple pattern that learners are first introduced to is the repeating pattern. Basically, it is a set of elements repeated in a particular order. As the teacher, it is important to know the different parts of a repeating pattern and to teach them to your foundation phase learners. The elements are the items, whether it be a shape, symbol, number, or letter that make up the pattern. In this example, the elements are circles and a triangle. The core of the pattern is the short string of elements which are being repeated. So in other words, the core displays the rule. By observing the pattern, one can determine what the rule is and make a generalization. That is the general rule about the pattern. The structure of the pattern is how the elements have been organized and can be re represented by using letters. In this example, circle, circle, triangle can be represented as A, A, B. If it was circle, circle, triangle, square, we could say A, A, B, C. Finally, there is the prediction. This is where one determines what the next element or elements in the pattern will be after investigating the pattern and determining the rule. Although we do not always use the given language used here with young learners, they will have to find all of these attributes and patterns as you as the teacher can ask specific questions about the concepts to guide them. Patterns can be represented in a variety of ways, for example, in a visual form by using actual objects and shapes, in an auditory way in the form of using rhymes, clapping and singing songs, in a kinesthetic way by using actions and movements, and symbolically by using letters and numbers. It is important to use all of these pattern modes for young learners to fully grasp the concept of patterning. Young learners start by identifying patterns. Allow them to tell you what is and what is not a pattern, and point out concepts which would make something a pattern. Learners should use their own words to explain why or why not something is a pattern. Mm -hmm. You may elaborate on their answers. Next, they should be able to read or describe a pattern. This consists of them being able to name each element. For example, the pattern is a blue bead and then a red bead and another red bead. Ask them questions about the patterns, such as what is being repeated here? Or describe what you see in the pattern what elements are there, and so on. A good way to get learners used to patterns is to have them copy a pattern. After they have correctly copied a pattern, make sure it is correct because some learners may struggle. Then ask them questions about it. What is the rule of the pattern? Basically, what is the core being repeated? Ask them to make a prediction by asking which elements may come next. Learners will enjoy making their own patterns too. Allow them to challenge the person next to them to describe the pattern, name the elements, determine the rule and predict what comes next. In grade 3, the pattern can be a bit more complex and be comprised of numbers. You can represent patterns in many different ways. For example, using letters, which learners can relate to because they are beginning to read and write at the same stage. You can also get learners to fill in missing elements in a pattern. This requires them to investigate the pattern, determine the rule, and make a prediction. Growing patterns can be defined as patterns which either grow or shrink by a particular amount from step one onwards. Growing patterns can be translated in numerous ways. For a simple example, take clapping. At first, you clap once. The second time, you clap twice. And the third time, you clap three times. So each time you, you clap, which is a step, you are increasing it by one more clap. You can also use number lines to show growing patterns, tables, or input and output diagrams. To stimulate algebraic thinking in terms of growing patterns, get learners to copy patterns once again, to extend them, to create their own and to represent them in different ways.